Ouch. Hello everyone, Pat Smodja here. I am out on the Sherco Enduro bike doing some riding today, but I'm going to show you guys why you should have a trials bike if you ride hard enduro. That's a pretty hard line right there. The reason is because the skills and the techniques that you learn from trials transfer over directly to the enduro bike. I just spotted a nice line here. Gotta hit that. Oh yeah, that's a fun one. But as I was saying, the skills transfer over so well and the timing is a bit different, but with some time on the bike, you can figure it out and apply it from the trials bike to the enduro bike. This is a pretty common feature in a hard enduro race, a suspended log. This one does have a log to land on on the other side, but you have to be pretty precise. The zap technique that you learn riding trials is perfect for this because it gives you lift with the rear tire to hopefully clear the skid plate and control your landing. See if I can do it. Okay, I'm up, but didn't quite get the turn lined up. I was off balance. Let's try to do it clean this time. A little slow, but hey, just going for clean on this one. So I can tell my timing is a little bit off. I've just been riding trials lately. So I gotta get a feel for the suspension, the power, and the clutch on this thing. But now I have three big logs that are not suspended. Another common feature with hard enduro. So I'm just going to ride over them normally first. The second one's really tight, but then I'm going to try to wheelie between them. Since these ones are not suspended, you can actually get away with driving the rear tire into them, so you don't need to zap them. That was more of a very strong double blip to try to carry the front wheel far enough to clear the skid plate. Now, let's see if I can do the wheelie. They are just slick enough that I'm spinning on that first one. I also have to turn into it, so that doesn't help. Hopefully I can still figure it out, though. There we go. That's pretty fun when it works, but that is not easy to do. Here are three more logs, or telephone poles, and you can do the same technique, or to make it a little more trousy, try to do them all on the rear tire. All right, made it. Little skid plate catch on the end there. I'm gonna try to clean it up just a hair. That was pretty good. Just like a trials bike, right? So this one might be the least trousy because you could probably get away with just hitting it fast like a jump and you'd most likely get somewhere up top. Might not be pretty, but I'm going to try to add a little bit of control to it by hitting my rear tire on the barrel and then driving the rear tire in to that log and up to the railroad ties on top. And threw in the bonus wheelie on top, just to make it a little more fun. I haven't tried this one yet, but I think it'll go. This would be a splatter. It's kind of a long one, so maybe it'll actually fit the enduro bike better. I guess I'll ride it without the splatter first, see how that feels. Worked. I almost want to try second gear for this. I'm running 1250 gearing, and you can splatter in first or second, but I've done first more often, so I think I'm going to stick to that for now. Bit of a hard hit, but made it up there pretty well. Now I'm wondering if I can splatter and hold the wheelie across the top and jump to the downside. Uh, did not get the rotation, could not keep my front tire up. Oh, there it is. Had to work a bit, keep the front wheel up, but that's a really cool line to wheelie across the top, pop down to the downside. Sweet. Okay, so I did a back tire line and a splatter. Now it's time to combine the two. And when I first spotted this line, I just wanted to try the splatter. I thought that was pretty cool. And then I thought maybe I could hold the wheelie to these telephone poles and get over that. And that worked. So then I tried to gap from this one to that one. And that worked as well. 
it's just really hard to do so we'll see if i can get it done today i'm definitely sticking to first gear on this one just for a bit quicker of a power on the gap oh not bad for a first try i made it in hard and drill rules right oh no thought i had it and then i just didn't have it Ouch! Direct skid plate landing. But I kept my feet on the peg so far. Oh, so clean. I keep hitting right here and expecting traction, and it just slides to the side, and I fall over. No good. Okay, I've been getting it hard enduro clean, but I want to get it trials clean. There we go. All right, I just tried to stay back a little bit and have less RPM when my rear tire hit the slippery log. And it worked. Sweet. That's a good one there. Even on a Charles bike, it's a pretty good one. So to do it on a enduro bike, it's pretty surprising. Charles develops great balance and it's easier to learn balance on a Charles bike. And then you can take that to an enduro bike. Let's see how my balance is today with a foot plant pivot. Okay, this is a really hard thing to do. You really have to know exactly where your tires are so you can get the pivot just right. Not a lot of room for your foot there. And then you have to land, go straight, stay balanced to continue all the way to the end. There we go. Here's another balance tester and just some fun. Roll back. Oh, thought I was gonna run into this, so a little timid there. Then up this. Oh, and keep it nice and kind of straight, but not too straight. Missed the tree. Drop down to here. Okay, now I have to try not to knock over the camera, too. Oh no! Headed the wrong direction here. <laughs> had to use the tree for balance for a second there, but hey, I got through. Being able to hop the bike in tight situations can really pay off. And while you don't have to keep your feet on the pegs, learning the correct way on a trials bike can make it a lot easier when you try to take those moves to the big bike. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching a few of the trials techniques that transfer to the enduro bike relatively easily. I learned all of this on the trials bike and it did not take me all that long to figure out how to do that on this bike. So hopefully that's enough to make every hard enduro rider want the trials bike in their fleet. But either way, I'll probably have to do some more trials on enduro bike videos because that was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.